Hey Surveys, welcome back to K-Popsicles. I'm Paige. I'm Kate. And we are back guys uh, with another K-Pop catch-up video. As you guys know, we will be seeing more, more of these throughout the month and hopefully by the end of it we'll be done <laughs> playing catch-up. So um, the first video up for this video is our boy Jungkook and his song Hate You and it's the official visualizer. Once again, we are super late with this one. We know. We know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, if you guys don't know, obviously we are huge BTS stands. we are huge ARMY, um, and Jungkook is Kate's bias. He is. And, um, for Christmas, I, I got, got the golden album. Yes, I bought her the golden album, I bought, I have my, my own version of it, so we each have the album, <laughs> and it's one of the few songs, like, we have not listened to the entire album, we haven't done an album reaction or anything, so it's one of the songs we have not heard yet, so yay. <laughs> Uh, super excited to see what this one's gonna have in store for us. Obviously, it's a visualizer, so it's a much shorter song. Um, I don't know, you know, the context behind it, but it looks interesting, and it's a Jungkook song, so super excited. Me too. <laughs> uh, but before we jump in, we're gonna leave a link to our Patreon down below in the description box. We hope you want to check us out. We do live stages, drum reactions, variety shows, dance practices, you can join our Discord. Basically, everything you can't do here on YouTube. We also post free videos over there for you guys to buy on our channel, because we're not gonna make it business give free. That's just stupid. Speaking of our Patreon, we're currently watching from BTS. <coughs> Sorry, choking. <coughs> uh, produce one on the series, season two. We have the Isaacs. Uh, we have W Two Worlds. We have um, God Seven's Hard Carry. I have my. Uh, bleh. We are almost finished starting season two of God Seven's Hard Carry. I have one something called Pint Size Rich Dramas on my own. I'm currently watching both Happiness and The Devil Judge. Uh, we have movie reactions, album reviews, so much fun content going on over there, and we have a lot more content coming. And if you want to follow us over on Twitter, handle be on screen, new post every single day over the video dropping space and stay as we're doing here on our channel. Wow. I'm choking before we even start. And it wasn't my fault this time. <laughs> it wasn't your fault. You didn't make me choke this time. <laughs> Ooh. A poorly timed joke with a poorly timed drink. That was just bad combo. Alright, guys, let's hop into Jungkook. Hate you, the official visualizer. Are we in sad boy hours? I think we're in <coughs> sad boy hours. Such a beautiful song. It was beautifully 
was like, oh my god. It was not about him, like, like, having to leave. Almost, you know, like, he loves Army, but, like, it hurts so much that he's gonna leave, that he's just gonna blame everything and be like, no, I hate you. <laughs> I was like, damn. <laughs> like, damn, Can Cookie. you imagine if that was actually what the song was about? Blaming I'm, Army for right. <laughs> Like, damn. Why you gotta hate us, Cookie? We didn't do nothing. <laughs> oh my god, I love him, and that was gorgeously sad. Wow. He's really so good at emo emoting when he sings. Yes. Oh my lord. Like I said, the, the little like vibrato and shake in his voice as he was singing like the super soft parts. I was like, ooh, it just pulls that emotion right out of you. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> That's what I felt in the song. I was like, what the hell, Cookie? You're trying to kill me. Ugh. But no, like. Cat, stop. You're chewing on my cord. Phoenix. Get over here. My cat's chewing on my cord. Sorry. Um. But yeah, no, he just has that that little extra ness to him that just pushes everything over the edge, and I'm just like, yes. It's just that some that little sparkle. That's something extra. He always sounds so pretty too. He does. Sense. Oh my god, he has such a gorgeous voice. I mean, he's the golden Mafne for a reason. Right. <laughs> Bias for a reason. He's, you're by, he's my, one of my biggest wreckers for a reason. <laughs> he was my main wrecker up until Suga took over. Because Suga just barreled his way in and was like, hey. You know, I was like, okay, I guess so. <laughs> but yeah, no, Cookie is just such an insanely talented person. And a beautiful, beautiful song by him. Another amazing song by him, so... All right, next song up we have T I O T. Find the way. T I like how the first audible option is riot. riot fight scene. No, not riot. T I O T. Rot fight. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, track video. One month ago. It's a full song. It's a full song. Holy crap. Marcus <laughs> is a connoisseur of anything that's free. Marcus so sounds like a hoarder. To read the disclaimer <laughs> I'm sorry, Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> wow, why are you coming for Marcus's throat like that? Like, damn. Because <laughs> he interrupted our K-pop videos. <laughs> Rude and disrespectful, apparently. Oh, and I dropped another one eight days ago. Yeah, WWW. just Junhyun. Oh it's, oh, it's his solo? Just Junior. Oh, okay. I was about I to put say. that one on the list. Oh, okay. So that's on the further down list. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. No captions? Okay. Happens all the time, literally. Probably half the videos today have had no captions. It's fine. We're here. <laughs> Let's pop this up. So yeah, T.I.O.T. If you guys don't know, we did their pre- one of their pre-debut tracks. Um, um... Dude, how does that not hurt? You got a thick-ass skull. <laughs> The amount of times he hit the metal bar underneath my bed with his head, I'm surprised he doesn't have a concussion at this point. Like, honestly. He's got permanent brain damage. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Anyway, um, we checked out their, pretty sure it was their pre-debut song, and I was like, was it Un... I'll start trying this. Undefeatable really or something like that? Or Un... Unbeatable, I think it was. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was like un unbeatable. Yeah, unbeatable. So yeah, we checked that one out, and they're really good. If you guys don't know who TIOT are, they are former members, um, former contestants of Boys Planet, which we actually just recently finished the show. Uh, Kum Jun Hyun, Hong Kon Hee, um, is it Kim Min Song? And Park Woo Jin, I believe. Um, I think it's Park. Um, but yes, Ujin, Min Song, uh, Connie, and uh, Junyun um, are the four members of TAOT. We fell in love with them through the show. Mm -hmm. Junyun is hilarious. Oh my He's god. So funny. He's so funny. But his voice is incredible, and all, the, all of them are just so talented. So we really did enjoy Unbeatable. Um, so now we're going to head into this next one called Find the Way, and it's a track video. So let's get into this.
They have the most random posters up there. Ricky right. Company Gold Cuts. Back to Retro. Party! Party. <laughs> something Thursday or something. I don't know what that is. Or Franz Tortilla, I think I said. I don't know. Hey, that's old jam. Those old school cameras. This one is much more like rap heavy, I think. Yeah. I mean, there's rap in the other one, but I felt like more of a rock song. This one is like. This is more like R&B. Yeah. Junior. You're playing by yourself, and you managed to knock it over, sir. He's playing a DS. Oh my god. Uh, Game Boy. Game Boy. <laughs> I don't color or advance. It's been so long since I played Game Boy. I think it's. Advanced. I think it's advanced. Yeah, because I think color was a square one. The rectangular one mm -hmm. Yeah. Funny! I like that there's a lot of vintage stuff in this video. Right. He's so pretty. I love his red hair. He's got similar, like, eyes and a jawline and lips to uh, Changbin. Mm -hmm. And I, I remember noticing that. <gasps> oh my god! That was like the thing. The nacho chips! Captain on Pants was a thing as a kid. It was huge when I was a kid. Oh my god. Everybody and their mother read Captain on Pants. Makes sense. I, you know, I don't question anything with Junjian anymore. I Me really neither. don't. <laughs> I've learned too much. I've seen too much <laughs> during Boys Planet. Does not phase me anymore. That was so cute. I it was it. so cute. I loved that. They did such a good job. They did. Like I, it was a track video, but it just felt like a normal like music right, video for a title I was track. Like, and, like, they all sounded so good. And Connie got booped. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, come, lay on my shoulder. <laughs> he just looks like an evil look on his face when he's he was like, doing he's like, it. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> he's like, I have won, lay on me. He's like, I don't know what you won there, but apparently, okay, whatever you want, Connie. <laughs> oh, I love them. Like I said, I'm not sure if they've officially debuted yet or if this is still pre-debut stuff. Um, but whatever it is, I love their music. So, Anything else you want to say for this one? No, I'm good. Alright, let's head into the next one. The next song up we have for you guys is... Catch the Young. Catch the my Young. Own way. We gotta find the way and now we got my own way. Hey. <laughs> There it is. I was like, uh. So we recently um, found Catch the Young a couple weeks back. Um, they are a new band. 
And wow, wait, don't start yet. We guys. love our bands. <clears throat> we love our bands. Um, we checked out, I think, two songs of theirs Cactus okay. Boy and um, it was the funky one. Yeah, I don't remember the name, but I know we watched both. Though. Yes, it was Cactus Boy and something. I can't remember the other one. Oh, Youth. Youth. Um, but yeah, no, we really, it really like enjoyed it. they released it. another one. Three they did. Days. They did. I probably, yeah, it's probably from the same one. <laughs> from the same, like, album or release. Uh, but yeah, so we really enjoy this group and we're excited to check out their next song they have here. So this is Catch the Young with My Own Way. Pretty sure one of the guitars on my thing, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he's one of my problems. Yes, and he's my big problem. Even very 80s. Right. With that guitar. Something you hear like Back to the Future. <laughs> right. They literally just said future. Yeah. Nope, it's my head cannon. This is in Back to the Future. So don't be afraid. This is definitely like a live like clip. Right. Because the mixing with the vocals and stuff. Guitar battle. Bass solo. <laughs> oh, now we have confetti. Wait, I, I gotta get in on this cake. Discovered those reactions. <laughs> Yay! That was so good. I love that. I definitely will say that I still prefer Cactus Boy as my favorite mm -hmm. out of the three that we've heard. But that's just my personality because I like the darker kind of slower right. sad songs. So <laughs> the with the youth and this one, they're definitely much more up your alley they with are. the brighter <laughs> vibes. I really like this one. <laughs> no, this one was really cool. It definitely gave off, like I said, the eighties kind of back to the future esque vibes with the keytar going <laughs> off. I was just like, Oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> um you can definitely tell they're from like a, a smaller agency. Um just in production wise because I felt like the voices their vocals were much more muted. They were a lot quieter compared to the instruments. Exactly. So the mixing 
whoever the master engineer the mixing on that wasn't the best but we could still understand and enjoy the song and like i said their voices are really good the 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 band that's uh, itself the instrumentals and everything they're amazing so i'm just excited for more from them for sure me too they're so good and like I said, they just, like, recently debuted, so. I know. Like, in the past couple of months. And they don't even seem like rookies. <laughs> they don't. They feel like they've been doing this a lot longer than just a couple months, you know. I'm sure they were obviously been together for a while before that, but. Anything else you want to say for this one? No, I'm good. All right. Well, that is the, uh, was it the last one? One more, right? Or... One, two, three. Yeah. yeah. What is the last one for us? The end. After the after party. It's hey. AT-AT. We have another BM song. So we recently checked out his low key. Whoa, whoa, sir. Wait. No starting. This one's also short. <laughs> Another, yeah, it's a, one of the visualizer ones. So uh, once again, it's probably all in English. So we don't have to worry about the captions, but you never know. <laughs> um, but yeah, so in the last catch-up video, we did BM's low key. And now we're checking out his after the after party. We should not be surprised at anything that BM says or does anymore, but he will still probably shock us at some point, or at least shock me. <laughs> <laughs> I should say that. Um, but yeah, so let's hop into this one with BM ATAP. If this is like a completely different vibe than Loki. <laughs> Sir. What is it with him and tank tops? Uh, sir, what? <laughs> Damn. It's not even that late. Anyway, literally, you couldn't wait two more minutes before the end of the freaking song. Not even. Sorry about that, guys. My family is very rude. They do not know how to knock or at least text. We should just start locking your door. Honestly. Like, no lie. Because I'm getting pissed off about it. Told you guys, you get to see all the behind the scenes in these catch-up videos because... Anywho, 
I think what I was saying is that he likes seeing people's reactions to what he writes. He does. He gets enjoyment out <laughs> of it. He does. He finds so much enjoyment out of it. Um, and like I said, he did an interview after Icky and um, that whole album came out with, uh, I think it was Dre. And he was, or not even an interview, I think he just like slid in when he was like streaming or something. And so they had a conversation about the songs or whatever. It was like explaining that he goes, he's like, yeah, no, we, we want to, he's like, we're on our grown ish. Like we're, we're grown. And he goes, we're, we're trying we're to put that out there. Adults. Right. And he's like, he's like, no, we wanted a reaction he's like, like this. stop infantilizing us. <laughs> I have never infantilized them at all. I no, I never but I know it's a thing them. in K-pop. In general. It is, it is, and it's like they're everyone's grown. like protect my baby, and I'm like he's a thirty year old man. We say it jokingly. When we're like, oh my god, my baby, but it's like we are also aware that they are adults. So when they do stuff like that, it's like we're not okay, surprised. yeah, like they're like so many idols either smoking or you know going on dates or going to the club drinking. or drinking, and it's just like. Cool, can I party with you? Like, that's the kind of reaction you get from us. Like, do you have really good soju? you? Right, like, I, I'm, let's go, I'll buy you some shots, man, let's, you know? And then I've seen clips of, like, the after parties or whatever at the concerts that, like, Card went to, and they're, like, at bars, and they're partying it up with the whole crowd, and they're, like, buying drinks, and, like, the crowds are like, can we buy you a drink? And I'm like, I want to party with Card, like, right. come on. Like, all four of them were partying it up, I was like, let's go. But BM in particular, he is so, like, just unfiltered, and I love that. That's one of the reasons, uh, you know me, that's, I go for the crackhead mm-hmm. unfiltered people. Right. That's who my eye bias. And I'm like, I love that he is just like, I'm a, this is what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say whatever I wanna say, and you just deal with it. It's the American in him. <laughs> it is. It really is. <laughs> we have no filters half the time. No. It's just like... <laughs> No language filter, nope. no volume filter. Nope. Uh, chaos filter, none. Just We're whatever. just chaos gremlins. Yes. We it's... exist to cause chaos wherever we go. Yep. It's why the rest of the world hates us, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, BM, like I said, I really should not be shocked anymore, but like, I still get shocked every time he does something like that, and I'm just like, damn, sir. Like, it's not the fact that he said it, it's like... It's the fact that I wasn't expecting how how far he took it, you know? Right. Like, like I ex- the last one was okay. <laughs> right, like this I expect was, him to take it kind of far, this but one like was farther than the last woo! one. <laughs> he said, "I'm gonna go in." Literally, <laughs> I'm like, "Damn, okay." He wasn't messing around. He said, "He ain't an amateur. He know what he doing." <laughs> on the couch, on the bed, on the kitchen, <laughs> like, damn. I can't with him. He is too much. I love him so much. Ugh. And every single one of his, like, solo songs do has not sounded the same at all. Mm-hmm. And I love that. I love that he is able to, even if he has similar kind of, like, vibes to a song or, like, the similar, like, it, like last song, too, kind of fit the same, you know, lane as this one, it's still completely different. And I'm like, yes, <laughs> that's how you do it. I love that he, his artistry. Keep going, BM. We support Keep you. Being you BM. Yes. Be the beautiful, unfiltered you that you are. If you ever happen to see our video, we love you so much and you are amazing. Um, sorry that my family had to er- interrupt our reaction to the video. Um, thank God it was at the end. Because they don't know how to knock on the door. Yes. Instead no. of just opening it or texting See, like it. I said, Americans, they're unfiltered. They don't know. How? <laughs> we complain about it, but it's just a true fact. We're See, unfiltered. I get lucky if I have my door shut, my family knocks on my door. Yeah, my family doesn't know. For whatever reason. Like, the other day, I got out of the shower, and my grandma just walks out. I'm like, hello? Hello, I'm naked. <laughs> I'm getting dressed, can you not? <laughs> um, anything else you want to say for these videos? No, I'm good. Alright guys, well we hope you enjoyed these videos as much as we did. Uh, we'll leave a link to our Patreon and our Twitter down below in the description box. We hope you can check us out and hope it's so much. Seriously, your support means the absolute, absolute world to us. Welcome to all of our new spaces. Seriously, amazing. We love you. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.